This is our family garden. Normally, it's a quiet place to sit and relax. But then, one stormy night, everything changed. When this pair of green tree frogs stopped by. They didn't stay long, but they left behind a pond full of eggs. We searched the internet and learned what was needed to create the ideal tadpole habitat. Plants, rocks, sand, a gentle filter, rainwater, Tap water left out in the sun for at least 24 hours. Cuttlefish bones for calcium. Veggie flakes. Pacific blue eyes to eat the mosquito rippers. And a bigger pond. Three days after the eggs appeared, both ponds were swimming with tiny tadpoles. All their food was boiled and frozen. Lettuce. zucchini, a combination of lettuce and baby spinach, and broccoli. With this many healthy and hungry mouths to feed, keeping the water clean was becoming a challenge. Cleaning filters, scooping out the old water, adding fresh water, and removing food scraps after each meal was a never ending job. But the hard work paid off. Our tadpoles had back legs. Metamorphosis had begun. But their mouths were still in the juvenile stage. Despite every effort to keep the pond clean, overcrowding was a problem and it was time to ask for help. We contacted the Queensland Frog Society and Brett and Stacey came to our rescue. They took a few hundred for distribution among carers in our region. The remaining tadpoles loved their newfound space. To our surprise, we found a couple of silver tadpoles swimming about. Four legs at last. This photo was taken at night. By the following morning, their tails had almost disappeared. Finally, the cycle of life was complete. We had come full circle.